Welcome back guys in this from this video I will be talking about all the commands and we will get our hands dirty in executing and practicing commands that are offered by Unix enough of theory so let's get practical dude okay so uh, I will go to write the commands we need a terminal so click on the terminal symbol wherever you will be find easily you can find it easily terminal or if you don't find if you can't find just press control alt and in caps lock t the terminal will get open okay so control plus alt plus caps of t yeah you got it okay so one side the dollar prompt you can issue commands there are several hundred commands available in unix let us begin with the most elementary one that is who am i I will type who am I. Okay, a word of caution before we proceed. All Unix commands are to be typed in small case letters. Okay, so once I enter who am I, I will tell you what this whole output means. Okay, so this Gaurav means this is the login name. It is our login name, Gaurav. This signifies the terminal number or the serial port line by which your terminal is connected to the host machine and this is the date and time at which you logged in. Okay. In fact, the who am I command is a special case of the who command. The who command is more powerful and displays data about all the users who have logged into the system currently. Okay, so I will type who and as you can see there are the two members who have logged in with different terminal numbers and that's why this who command is displaying all these users that have been logged in currently into the system. Uh, I have logged in from TTY 8 terminal number and from this currently I'm, I have been logged in from this terminal number. Okay, so you may be confused about what is this terminal number. I don't get it. I will tell you in easiest language that since I have discussed already that each device is treated as a file in Unix, even folders, device, directories and all that stuff. So this means that terminal is also represented as a file in Unix. So this pts slash one is a file stored in dev directory because dev stands for device directory. I have already discussed about the file system in previous in my previous video. Please go and check that if you find any difficulty. Okay, so in dev directory, the which stands for device directory, since terminal is the device, so its file, the file associated with the terminal is stored in the dev directory. Each user logged in will have unique terminal number file, so that's why they are showing me two. Okay, so I will go into dev directory and show you where these all files are located. I will go to home, my home. Okay, so I don't want this path. I want root. You know, slash means roots. I have discussed in file system already. Uh, this is root and we need to go in dev directory. That is device directory. From there, what was the name? PTS. There is a, there will be a directory called PTS here. I find it and there you go. One, this is the file which is associated with my terminal currently okay so whenever I open it it won't get open because it don't have executable permission okay so this is the concept behind who am I and who and this terminal file number hope you like this video please give a thumbs up please rate comment and subscribe and bye from now